Okay, Pete. So she's dead cold. All I do is a couple of pumps on the accelerator. It depends how cold the weather is, but you don't need much choke. Um, and away she starts. You just let it warm up for a bit. So if you ever get too much choke, then she starts running too rough. But um, around about there, and then we'll just show you a couple of things. There is no cable inside to undo the bonnet. So when you want to undo the bonnet, it's just a little lever up in here. See that just under there pull it towards you and up goes the bonnet under here there's not a hand we'll have to show you just you know wash a bottle full filler radiator um nice new water pump there mate you shouldn't have any issues with that any master cylinder hers like a kitten New battery. A few other new little bits and pieces around. So I generally like to live a, give a bit of a warm up before you take off. Um, new rubbers on the doors. So the doors, if you shut them normally, they don't shut fully. You got to be a give it a good bang. Once those rubbers settle down, it'll be a bit easy to shut the doors. Same on driver's side and passenger side. Just your normal light switches and so forth. Um, your brake release. At least your handbrake. Heater controls, just normal. This little old beauty has a flasher, which is very unusual on these old trucks. So, four speed manual, first gear, the only time you're ever going to use it is if you get a steep incline like this, um, and you can just idle up here, but general driving around town, um, you'd never use first gear. It's really just a crawler gear. And it is real low. So normal taking off when we get up here, taking off into the street, you take off in second. second gear again because she's not warmed up yet temperature gauge hasn't really moved um, still got the choke out a little bit second gear you're away it'll take you a little while to get used to the gearbox but once you're used to it it's really easy and simple to drive uh, no power steer but you'll, um, you'll get used to that and how you're rolling around the place so this old gill, you can cruise at right down to 20 mile an hour in fourth gear. Then just put your foot down and she'll just take you right up to 80 mile an hour. Inside they've just got your basic vents, um, your heater controls, but they've got a vent down the side here. Slide thing that slides open and it's vent side windows work really well for getting ventilation into the into the cab. Get yourself a good breeze gun since you don't have any air con. Oh yeah hey there's not a lot to them but uh, wonderful old girls to drive once you get used to them. Um, this this old truck for a 68 it's so smooth. There's no rattle bangs. Um, there's no growlings in the gearbox or anything. Or in the drive chain for that matter. The diff's all real quiet. The wheel rings are all real good. The only thing perhaps you might have to do in the future, maybe a clutch. Depends how much you make it work. Where well, you've never done the clutch. And it feels strong at the moment. Um, but And I've got no history on it so I don't know. But it's not going to be a major job to do. Just drop the gearbox out and replace the clutch. Any parts or anything like that you need, always come back to me and say, hey, I need this, this part. I'll get them in for you. 
um, we've got some really good suppliers and it's not expensive stuff to work on. The brakes are boosted but they drum all round, but they're all new um, and they do work really well. It's got a heavy duty tow bar on the back, so if you want to tow anything, this is all set up. It's got the electrical cables there but you need to change it to New Zealand for your New Zealand plugs if you want to do that. probably about all really um, you'll probably find this steering a bit more loose than what you've been used to um, but once you get used to it it's perfectly safe and fine to drive but you might feel oh this has got a fair bit of play in it you know when you're driving, cruising along out in the open road but you can cruise along nicely at 70 mile an hour and, um, no dramas I'm actually running I put some 98 in it that's about half full um, just to see if it made any difference because normally I've been running it on, on 91 I don't feel a hang of a lot of difference um, it may run it maybe a little bit cleaner or something have a little bit more power the higher the octane but certainly doesn't seem to um, affect the way it drives it still takes off slow and low and plenty of torque So yeah, enjoy the truck mate, hopefully see you down in Wanaka next time I'm down there.